Hey guys, just a quick reminder before the video starts, if any of you are thinking of doing your HGV licenses or you've just passed your test and you're looking for information uh, on all the theory questions and what you need to know, then take a look at the New Essential Truck Drivers Handbook. Uh, it's really, really handy. It's a nice, easy size to carry around with you, packed with information. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, you won't regret buying this. Crack a little book. Hope you enjoy it. Enjoy the video, guys. For about 18 months maybe a little bit shorter than that it's um, if you have a look on my old vlogs um, it's the one London run and bump uh, I was when I was on my way down here that's why I had the taxi hit me uh, it's about yeah, it's about 18 months ago I'm sure it was something like that but it's on an old vlog but I'm down there I'm in um, Rochford just the other side of uh, South End on Sea down at a little key where they do a load of wood. Just loaded um, a load for Sherborne in Dorset. So I'm all loaded and on my way. Slow traffic on A127. And uh, yeah, it's about a four and a half, four and three quarter hour run. So I'm going to need a break on the way up anyway. Romford yesterday and they gave me this as a as a reload and I got here at uh, quarter past three yesterday afternoon and there was 15 trucks in front of me when I got here I went down the report and uh, he said you have no chance of getting loaded today mate um, they did stay on to load as many as they could uh, by the time they finished I had two trucks in front of me so pulled round to load at quarter past seven this morning. Um, so a nice quiet night here. Took the car out at six o'clock, had just over 12 hours off. 12 and a half hours, but the car didn't have about six this morning. So I'm well rested, had a good sleep, had an early night. And uh, yeah, all ready to rock and roll again today. It's now uh, five to 10 after being loaded and uh, so I'm going to wait down here for him because these roads aren't the best. Pull into the one side. I'm going to wait here for him. Um, I've also got the SLR out today, as you can probably see with the back camera. Reason being is I've lost the uh, extension for the microphone for my GoPro 3. Reason being is I did a vlog on, um, well, a little room. Did a little recording on the weekend. Went out with my brothers on the bike. Uh, so I did a little recording, but the, um, the camera fell off the bike. The camera's okay, as you can see. It's still all right. Quite robust. Came off at uh, 65 mile an hour. And uh, luckily my uh, brother saw it come off because he was behind me and he pulled over to you can see how tight this road is because this car's got to pull over. Um, yeah, he stopped and pulled over and got the camera and the, uh, and the holder for me because the whole thing just fell off. Must have loosened up with uh, the vibrations of the, of the bike. But, uh, coming in yesterday, there was an Irish truck here waiting, waiting for us to come around. And 
as he came round. Was it this one? No, it might have been. It might be the next one actually. He uh, didn't take it out wide enough, and he put his trailer in the ditch. I don't think he was loaded because if he was loaded, it would have gone over because it was literally an angle like that. But he uh, he just carried on and pulled it back out again. So yes, yeah, this one coming up over that way now. Quite some sharp turnings here. So the roads aren't that wide. So if you've got another Arctic coming the other way, you've got to wait. Yeah, so he was waiting on the corner by here as we were coming round. And he put in the ditch by there. Take it wide enough there, and by there, where you can see the markings on the other way, you can see it with the back camera there. But see where he went in there yesterday. I think if he was loaded, it would have gone over. Quite simple. See, so I'm just taking my time on these corners because a lot of them are blind, you can't see what's coming around. Good thing is I'm not that heavy considering I got a full load of wood on. Now you'd have seen the load earlier on when I uh, just did a little bit of footage, a little bit of B-roll. Um, and well, yeah, I'm only 36 ton, so that's not too bad. I had to go past the. Uh, of Arctic's coming in yesterday, which was a bit of a mess. We got through. do now is I'll probably do um, part of the vlog today and then uh, maybe finish it off on Thursday or something because I should have my uh, my microphone bit back by then but the, the microphone on the SLR is anyway is okay that was probably very loud the boys talking as well I had um, a warning light come up on the dash as well uh, exhaust gas after treatment fault uh, it's gone off again now I have told the office so it's gonna go into uh, City West later on so I say I'm going to Dorset now so they'll pull me up from Dorset then back up to the yard and then I'll go into City West for a check over no, my luck now, it won't come back on. There we go, oh, now they're coming around. So you're gonna hang back for me. Patient. Yeah, even look at me. <laughs> There's a reason they were waiting there. Big attic coming through. Yeah, so I'm heading back up towards.
towards South End now. And that's the uh, up to the 25. See, so we have noticed as well. There's an airport close to here, and uh, because we're in the, with the uh, where the key is, it's in the flight path. And there's uh, quite a few planes coming over last night. So obviously the uh, air industry is picking back up again.
I'll do a little time lapse from here and, uh, and I will speak to you in a bit. So enjoy the video. And uh, yeah, catch you in a bit, guys. Doodles. Very good morning, guys. Something a bit different today. Um, Sunday. And I've met up with my brothers. Who are by there? They're just getting ready to uh, pull off. We're uh, going to go for a run. Uh, we're at Ponte Abram Services at the moment. It's a beautiful day, so we're uh, making the most of it. And uh, we got a kid brother there, Dave. Give a wave, Dave. My older brother, uh, Alan, and my my glasses just fell off the bike. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're uh, we're going to go for a run up towards Landilo for the minute. Um, hopefully. Uh, I should get a few twisty roads in on the front camera. Um, I got my BMW out today. Was that my camera that fell, was it? Mm. Oh, that's not good. Oh dear, the camera just fell off. So I'm hoping I'm gonna have to, I can sort that out in a minute. Hopefully I won't fall off when I'm riding. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so we're gonna take a spin over towards Landilo. Um, I'll see if I can talk to you as I'm riding as well. Um, and. Uh, just go through the paces with you. So uh, yeah, let's get cracking. We'll see you in a bit. Toodles. Right, ready to rock and roll. Over the guys, get the gloves on. Yep. Whichever. Whichever. Away from my older brother. That's normal. the music down. And I'll get a copyright strike. Uh, my uh, older brother has got a uh, BMW. Uh, my kid brother has got a Kawasaki. Very nice bikes, a pair of them. So I'm hoping that the uh, front camera well, the one that's facing me anyway isn't uh, bouncy. There's, uh, I don't think there's any stabilization in a GoPro 3. I had to use the GoPro 3 for the microphone. Uh, the front one up the top there, uh, my, I'm using my 7, that's got obviously the built-in stabilization system. So hopefully that should stay quite stable. Right, I'm going to put the front of my helmet down now, so it should get a little bit quieter here. out of me because I've got the old man's bike. Uh, both of them are sort of old man's bikes. Obviously I've got this one, the K1200 BMW and I've also got the uh, the Honda Goldwing as well. I was going to bring the wing out with me today but I couldn't find anyone to put the cameras on. So. Do a little 
bit of a ride up this way now. And then uh, probably uh, just before we get the land of Rio or whatever. So we obviously got to be careful about uh, battery life. So I got no way of charging anything up. I did put things on charge last night. So hopefully it'll last a little bit so we can actually get some footage in for you. My, I got a boom on my my helmet for the uh, for the intercom system for when Claire's with me. So we talk to each other. So uh, this way now, at least you can hear what I'm saying as I'm riding. able to get out on the bike with my brothers. If we had two choices today, we could have either gone out together or we could have met up with the rest of the boys. Um, I believe they, all the rest of the boys, um, some of them are the ones we were going to go to uh, France with. Uh, they're taking a run up to uh, Aberystwyth today. Um, but uh, I don't want to be gone for that length of time. Obviously, I don't see clear during the week much, so it would be nice to just get home a little bit earlier. So I'm hoping to get home for about four or five o'clock today. So it's not too late to have the evening with Claire then before I go back to work tomorrow. And uh, I'm doing a run to Ron for tomorrow. battery life is really good. I put the GoPro on charge last night and uh, doesn't seem to have charged. So it's uh, it's dropping down rather rapidly the battery power. So I may have to just uh, complete this little uh, riding vlog with the front camera. Um, I can, I think, put up my, uh, I got my other GoPro with me as well, my, uh, my 5. So I might be able to put that in front facing me, but uh, there's no, obviously, obviously won't be able to hear me talking, so we'll see. from here so hopefully I can get some nice little twisty roads in makes a little bit more fun right that front one's dying 
it off a little bit now, so I'm going to save that for a bit. So I'm going to turn the front camera off, I'll keep the other camera going. Uh, what I'll do is, from this point, I'll, uh, I'll probably do a little time lapse. Uh, so you can see the roads that I'm riding. And uh, I'll come back to you when, uh, when we get to land dialogue, exact. So I'll uh, catch you shortly, guys. Doodles. Hey guys, uh, we stopped off at Land Every and uh, we're gonna go for a little run now up to the uh, well, say up to the mountain, but it's gonna up the back end of Land Every. Let's get my bike started. Hang on, there we go. Okay. See if we can get some nice roads. I've had a quick look at the uh, the footage as well, so it looks quite smooth. And uh, something I didn't know is uh, my older brother there in front. He's uh, he's got a camera on the back, so he's going to send me some footage from his back camera. Uh, hopefully I can put that in the uh, little bit of uh, footage I'm going to put together. So fingers crossed. Might have a little bit of footage of me riding as well. And it might be a little bit windy at the moment because I've got the front of the helmet up. I think David's just missed the turning. Yeah. Going right by the garage. <laughs> there we go. Let's see what sort of footage we can get now on these roads. I wanted to try and turn the camera on while I was uh, coming into Land Dovery because there's a nice bit of twisty roads coming in there. but could get it on. I'm so used to riding with my uh, front of my helmet up now. Whenever I put it down, it feels really claustrophobic. I think I need to put it down 
because uh, get a bit of wind yet. So all right, I'm locked in. Oh. Uh, hopefully that shouldn't be so windy for you. following these two is their bikes are really good for cornering so they can go around them a little bit quicker than I can this is a pretty good bike for road handling at uh, anything a bit sharp though you've got to make sure you've uh, got the correct speed and the correct gear before you go around it otherwise you might overshoot a corner there we go we got these honorable roads again we had these coming into land every I just resurfaced them. And it's just full. Of chippings. Because they've just done redone all the roads up this way. I don't know why they use this type of serve road service. It's absolutely diabolical when it's like this. Especially when, you know, when it's just been uh, laid. You've got all the chippings everywhere. you get everything through enough. As we were coming down into land every. Uh, there was uh, lorries coming the other way, uh, tippers, and they weren't going slow. Uh, look at this this van now, he's flying. You could throw stones up at us at anything with the uh, with all the loose chippings. A van coming up behind me now. Probably wants to go a bit quicker than we're going. Here he goes, coming on the outside, look. He's just throwing stones everywhere. That's why we're only doing 10 mile an hour, as it says on the signs. This is ridiculous. It's, um, it doesn't feel very stable under the, under the wheels at all, under the tyres, you know? As I said as I was leaving just now, the, I've, uh, I've checked a bit of the footage with the camera on the front. Because I've put it on my visor, the visor is obviously uh, vibrating. So the camera's moving back and forth, but the uh, the footage looks uh, very, very stable. So if anyone's thinking about buying a GoPro 7, I highly recommend it. Especially if you're going to things like this, where, you know, in normal circumstances, the uh, the camera will be shaking. It's probably which is what the, uh, the GoPro 3 is doing now, the one that's facing me. This is a long stint with 10 mile an hour, this. Loose trippings like this, you could lose your foot in on the uh, uh, touch of brakes if you're going a bit too quick and front end will lock up. Anything like that could happen, hence why we're, uh, we're sticking to the 10 mile an hour. And cars behind us now, they probably want to overtake, but... Oh, well, you can see that on Alan's bike, his uh, back tyre is throwing up stones now, and if we were going a lot quicker, those stones would be flying at me. No. Where are we going? He can't hear me. I'm 
Ben Evet de. Heavy on lumpy side of all back there. No. So, um, I don't know what we do. We go. Let's 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 go.
be a nice warm one. Just to save the battery life on the uh, three that's uh, facing me, I'm going to turn that one off. I'll uh, I'll leave the front one on. I won't time lapse it. I'll just leave it at normal time rate and uh, just enjoy the ride. And uh, I'll come back to you very shortly, guys. See you in a bit. Toodles. this into a normal vlog or whether I'm just going to put it up separately um, but if it is going into a normal vlog back to you Martin in the truck when them days 
I am three miles from where I'm supposed to be, and by the look of it, it's going to be fun trying to find this place. So we've got the Google Maps. It's in the middle of a house in the state. So that should be fun in itself. I've just been stuck in traffic for 25 minutes, coming through Yeovil on the 8.30. Road works. So that's put me right back. And lumped the idea. Stop for a break. I needed half an hour. Stop, put on brake, or so I thought I put it on brake. Made myself a sandwich, cuppa, spoke to Claire, and uh, just about ready to pull away. And I had a look, and it was still another work. Numpty nuts here, forgot to put it on brake. Thought I put it on brake, but obviously I didn't. So that's put me back by another half hour, plus that 25 minutes. But I was supposed to be getting here at 3 o'clock, and I'm going to get here at 10 to 4. Probably tip me now. I say, looking at uh, Google Maps, it, uh, the address they gave me or the postcode they've given me is completely wrong. It doesn't exist. So uh, I did a Google search for the company I'm going to. Found it no problem with the uh, the correct postcode. So I put the correct postcode into the sat nav. But looking at it on uh, Street View, it looks like it's a house but I think it's behind the house so going to Baton, Baton View Business Park I think it is yeah Baton View Business Park so see if we can find it and of course and if I'm heading back towards the depot we're going to come back this way and there's traffic even longer than the traffic I just sat in coming this way oh. but I haven't had that warning come back on now all day so hopefully it's rectified itself maybe it was a bit of a blockage in one of the pipes or something I don't know but uh, it hasn't come on all day and I've let it tick over for a bit as well and it hasn't come back on so fingers crossed it's cleared one and three quarter miles and I gotta go left in one and three quarter miles so presume the houses are directly off this road. But the weather's the weather, the weather. The weather is certainly strange today as well. One minute is sunny, next minute is raining. And even when it's cloudy like this, I still find it quite bright. That's why I've got my sunglasses on my head. I get to a certain point where you like that. I've got to put the sunglasses down, put the shades on. Put the shades on. Right, new house and estates there. And apparently Jay did this one beginning power at the end of last year, maybe beginning part of this year. So Kev was saying anyway. And uh, he said it was in a housing estate, so fingers crossed that the Barton view is actually signposted. Alright, it's coming into Sherbourne. Three quarters of a mile turn left, and then three quarters of a mile from the destination, so. Fingers crossed for a sign. Aha! I think I can see it. Right behind the house is over there, but you can see with that camera. Radford's building supplies. There we go. So, do I go left here? I don't think so, I think it's the next one. Actually, I think it should have been left there. Looking at this now. Uh, no. 
it's not up there. Not going up there. Ah, right, I'm gonna have to find someone to turn around. It must have been that turning back there at the traffic lights. Spartan Gardens, it is on your right. Yeah, Spartan Gardens is on my right, not the... Garden Centre or Builders Merchants or whatever. Uh, I gotta try and find somewhere to turn around now. Do 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 I can't turn left because it's a seven and a half ton weight limit. why I've got my hazards on, sweetheart. Come on, baby. Round you go. There we go. This little Yui by there. I'm there with a 17 tonner. housing estate because you got all the, the signs there for the housing estate so Sign for industrial estate or business park. It's got to be this way in now. It's the only other possible way in. It's a permissionless home site as well. Looks like they're going to be building up here. Yeah, they are building up here. I don't know what a new house is there. Build the supply place there. Supply of deliveries that way. Tight. Big hole in the floor there. Indecisive himself, then. Yeah, you're welcome, pal. <sighs> and the gates are closed. Clock. 
Oh, can you get around me? Boom, 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 boom. All right, buddy. See that one there? Not yet, no. Go grab someone. Thank you, mate. Here we go. Someone here. Oh, and he's got a uh, a long reach as well, so he might be able to do it off one side. Da 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 da. Where we got, Bergs, full load of wood. Okay. Where do you want me to, buddy? Got the beep in. Should go off now. There we go. Right, let's get this lot unloaded. Catch you guys in a bit. Doodles. All right, guys. Told you it was one of those days. Now I have a problem with the truck. Exhaust gas after treatment faulty. It's obviously some major problem with the ad blue. Just came up on the uh, main screen as well uh, to consult garage as there may be a loss of power. Uh, obviously, going, could go into limp mode. I'm all right for the minute. I have rung the office, and they've uh, spoken to City West, and uh, I'm okay to continue with it. Just don't turn it off. I'm not planning on turning it off anyway. I'm uh, stuck in this traffic at the moment. I've been for the last 15 minutes. Got about another four minutes of traffic in front of me, apparently. Or well, four minutes of delays, anyway. Uh, temporary light system, yep. The road works. Uh, whether you can see that on there. Uh, 
that's one of the that's the events page and that's what's come up well that's what came up on my main page as well but it went into regen when I came out of um, Bradford building place I thought oh, that's probably what I needed just a regen and it'll sort itself out <laughs> now a couple of minutes later after the regen came on uh, I don't know whether you'll be able to see that well I'm stopped I'll show you yeah, let's take that out of there as you can see there I've got the green regen light there and that's the one that says obviously there's a fault with the uh, regeneration system and that's the uh, what has come up on the events so put you back up there there we go um, so yeah I got a broken truck I do still look a bit red caught the sun when I was out Sunday I hope you enjoyed the little uh, thing, I, put. I don't know what I've put together yet, but I'll put something together. Uh, whatever I put together, I hope you enjoyed it with the bike. Um, so I really enjoyed the day. I think I got home about 20 to 7 Sunday night. Um, got on the bike at half past 8-ish in the morning so it was a nice long day out on the bike it was good I thoroughly enjoyed it right stay green stay green please stay green stay green stay green stay green stay green yes I would have thought <laughs> that's a light on from 4 minutes to 40 seconds All that waiting just for that little bit of road there. The queue on the other side coming up this way now will probably be just as long as the one I just got in because uh, time is it now? Uh, the clock is covered by the engine management. 20 to 6. So people have just finished work. And as you can see, a nice long queue. So now I'm uh, heading back to the yard um, and I'm taking it into City West first thing in the morning. Going to be in there for 7 a.m. Right. It's a bit late to get in tonight now, apparently. So uh, I've got to take it in first thing in the morning. So I'm going to get to the yard, drop the trailer, go and wash the truck because it's in dire need of a wash. It is absolutely bogging. I haven't washed it for about a week and a half. And all the rain we've had, the truck is absolutely stinking. So, give that a wash. Do back to the yard about 10 to 7, it says at the moment. But well, that could change. Got a bit of uh, traffic in front of me as well. Lack of power then, but no, it's all right. It's on a hill, <laughs> so I got no power anyway. <laughs> uh, dear. Yeah, you just pull out in front of me, mate. Don't worry about me. Put down. Yeah, power's all right at the moment. And take the second exit, 830 Queensway. Back to home. Well, I got 43 miles to go to get to the yard. Uh, it's going to take an hour and 10 minutes apparently. I'm just glad this happened now while I'm empty. If it does go into limp mode, it shouldn't be too bad. See, the regen light is still on. That doesn't normally stay on for more than about 15, 20 minutes. It's the third time the regen light's come on since I've had it. So, 
don't know what the problem is. But, it's, it's using AdBlue, so it's not as if the AdBlue is not going through, because my AdBlue gauge is going down. So, not 100% sure what's going on with it. But, I'm not a mechanic. I just drive it. Yeah. Right. Waffled on long enough now, it's another six minutes second. Let's get round this roundabout. We're down in Dorset now, aren't I? So I talk like that a bit. Alert. Your wife is calling. Alert. Alert. Da 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 da. Claire asking me if I'm packed up. No love. I'm okay to continue. I was talking to Claire when the uh, <laughs> it came on. So. Right, I'm going to crack on. I'll do a little time lapse from here now. Probably leave it on for the hour and ten. I'll uh, do snippets. I'll snip it, snip it, and I'll uh, I'll speak to you a bit later when I'm at the yard. So I catch you in a bit, guys. Toodles.